So once again, this is going to be a tarmac stage, all right, with the conditions being light snow and ice. All right, so those who are into circuit drive, uh, circuit racing, I believe this is going to be a piece of cake on the dry and grippy sections. However, when it comes to the ice, this is where the rally instincts come to play. All right, so let's see who's going to be the most versatile player among the second batch. Let's find out right, uh, right here. All right, looks like Daryl Brady doing some few minute, uh, so last minute settings on the suspension. Looks like he's going to be going all out compared to the qualifying because uh, I think it's going to make this every bit count here, Guy Ivan, don't you think? I think um, he will. Uh, I believe but, uh, he will. I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if he's also guessing the settings that he's going to be using for this one. Uh, especially that it's going to be his first time uh, competing uh, here. Uh, but we'll see uh, how it's done. Um, and uh, I think he, he's the only guy with a Pujo at the moment uh, for this uh, batch in this one. So I believe so. Uh, sharing the same yep. car earlier with Onil Manabanan and the rest. Uh, and I believe Shukran was also using a yes, Pujo. Yes, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah, I'm surprised nobody used the Mirage. It's a vision. <laughs> Actually, oh, no. there was a uh, there was one guy who um, within the series who, was, who chose the one, but uh, I'm pretty surprised as well um, with the especially with our Malaysian uh, uh, brothers over here, uh, digital rally drivers competing because uh, that's a popular rally car uh, in the APRC uh, and they used that before. Yeah, but I think there are no um, protons here, so maybe they would have won. <laughs> All right, so uh, Joey Gutierrez off on the first stage. Definitely, uh, he's one of the guys to watch here. I think he's uh, seated number one in this PC batch. Uh, but he's uh, currently tied in third place uh, with Mina Arakawa in the National Digital Rally Championship. So let's see how this one goes. Uh, but definitely, he's uh, doing the right steps. Uh, and using his traditional black uh, livery with a uh, number 69 on the door just like Kali yes. Robin Vera. Very nice. All right. Up next, look who we have in P1. It's Nino Arakawa. Uh, Nino Arakawa. <laughs> I mean, he needs other redemption right now because he qualified poorly. Um, he, he actually was there also when he qualified live, right? Uh, that's game. right. That was, that was his last night. Yeah, so it was disappointing. I love the clip somewhere. It was very disappointing. Yeah, so it was nasty. He was yep. out, out for redemption. Yeah, so definitely Nina Arakawa due to the rules and regulations of uh, the national championship. Uh, he was, despite um, him falling out uh, of that qualifying, not having a good qualifying, he, he had a reserved um, slot already for this one as long as he qualified. Um, and yeah, uh, he's lucky to be uh, on the top three and be able to, uh, but he's earned that, that live, uh, live spot uh, for tonight. So here he is, uh, out for redemption and hopefully uh, for him, he stays in front of the way for the rest of the rally. Alright, up next, look who we have on P3. It's Takashi Fujiwara. Uh, Takashi Fujiwara, I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, during the chat, he's the one in the controller. Uh, I think he's using the controller for this one. Um, and uh, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I remember saying that uh, everything's gonna be fine because uh, he's not the only guy in the controller in this uh, in this uh, national uh, in this uh, rally championship that we have. So. Uh, no worries. Uh, same also with the age. We have the youngest uh, who, uh, who was in the application with the nine, who was nine years old. Definitely Carlos, uh, 15, second uh, youngest in this uh, uh, court that we're having at the moment. And we've also had, I think, the eldest was uh, 16 years Ooh, old. Those, so. Oops, so close. Oh no. Uh, just uh, under steering there. Anyway, still doing quite well. This, this by eh, again, despite the controller, but he's the top-seated uh, Malaysian driver right now, just above his uh, compatriot Sinji Iza. That's right. Uh, he's uh, still at third place and uh, still hanging there for a moment. All right. Up next, we're going to look at Shinji Iza on P4.
Oh man, now he, uh, Shinji Izak is um, using uh, Apollo also. Uh, in this uh, red oh. and orange. Not much, not much momentum there. It's interesting that AEM has a degree here. AEM is actually a company based in the US. I was, I was surprised too in the German part, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're kind of known for being in the import scene more on the Japanese side of things. Nice one, Shinji Iza. Say hi to our uh, camera. That's uh, right, he knows nice when it's pointed at him. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it cool there. Peripheral vision is on point for Shinji Iza. Oh, okay, the hairpin. Alright. Oh, a bit of understeer at the end, but it's okay, he made it through that hairpin. Alright, was able to save it. Not a problem. Not bad. Oh, uh oh, a understeer. No, I was able to recover it. Okay, into a hairpin right. All right. Really clawing in the inside on the snow, huh, Kevin? Yep. Uh, but uh, he was able to get that, uh, the grip out of that uh, exit, so that's pretty good. Using the engine brake. The, down, the downshift and the brakes to slow down. You lock the brakes here, it's game over. Alright, up next, Daryl Brady. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. no. Was that a glitch or was that just Daryl yeah. having a difficult time in his first uh, digital rally? I guess I think it's a zoom camera. Yeah, he was shaking at that part, so I think he kind of shook his head and raised his hand. It was real. Oh, it was real. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. My bad. Whoa. He's, he's struggling, but it's okay because the higher view surface is coming up very shortly. Um, and it would be to his uh, great advantage uh, as they reach uh, that more friction uh, on the asphalt. That's right. But but don't worry, you know. But, but guys, ch check out the grid right now. It, it looks like a caterpillar formation for the top four drivers right now. Look at that. They're just slowly following each other. I wonder if it's slowly. Uh, yeah, and up next, Bernie Ronquillo. Bernie Ronquillo um, is uh, probably in unfamiliar territory at the moment. Uh, I it's, not, it's highly unusual for him uh, to be on sixth place. Uh, probably playing it really stop. safe there, Kui Ivan. Yep. The hesitation uh, is real on the corner entry, but really powerful on the corner exit. It seems so, it seems so. So, But uh, again, the Monte Carlo is a very tricky rally. Uh, That's right. And uh, it really is uh, specific. I mean, some drivers really love and can really go fast here on, the, on this uh, event. That's but right. others will really hesitate for sure. Man, if it's really slippery and uh, maybe, maybe IRL experience, man. Going flat out on the snow would be such a bad idea. <laughs> Up next, we have the can man. This is Rafael Lee. And oh, Rafael no. Lee. Nursing a flat tire on the rear right. Quite oh, uncharacteristic of uh, Rafael Lee. I don't know if he's uh, using this wheel for the first time. We don't, we're not I sure believe it's qualified. the first time because I think he just bought that earlier today or yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> I think he's having quite a different experience from his usual uh, controller. Oh, it, it's, and, uh, it's a massive jump of a difference, if I may say. This could be, this could be the same uh, reason why Carla Castro actually did not choose this Nino controller. Nino Arcao across the, the line, this thing. followed closely by Joy Gutierrez. Across the line as well. Kashi Fujiwara across the line. Oh, Daryl Brady nursing a flat tire. Can he make it? Yeah, yes he can across the line. Now for Bernie Ronquillo. 
he's taking he's taking a uh, leisurely drive but um, let's just say he's taking oh, yeah, that was so close uh, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with this car he no just, nothing he's just taking his time he's just really has stayed ah uh, there he is he changed the tire Uh, this really, this Monte Carlo is it really eats cars. Um, and uh, and Lee is so far behind, he has 90 seconds to complete the stage. Which, uh, not sure if he'll make it in time. We shall see. You, you can never tell. 80 seconds to go for the can man. Yeah, but you know, using a new controller is like wearing a new pair of shoes for an important event, you know. You kind of... You gotta have to break know, it in. You kind of have to break it in before you really use it for uh, the actual purpose. Right. So, so, I don't know. We don't really know the exact situation. Maybe we'll find out later mm -hmm. off-stream. But um, regardless, you know, um, he's going to be enjoying himself regardless because... The, there's a world of difference between a controller and a steering wheel. Yeah, uh, when it comes to sensations and uh, handling um, that uh, you have to do with this dirt rally game. So he has less than 30 seconds to go in this uh, uh, before. Uh, make it. God, he got a flat again. Oh dear lord. Ow. That guy that's, hey. that's too. Oh man, he has just yes. strike two. Oh, Can he make it? Oh, he's not going to make right it. There. Come on, he's, he's right there. Gonna make it. He's Four, not going to make it. He's not going to make it. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, I'm so sorry, man. All right, Nino Arakawa at 739.16. Joy Gutierrez at 746.23. Takashi Fujiwara at 752.32. Shinji Izak at 802.87. Daryl Brady at 805.60 with a four second penalty. Bernie Ronquillo at 823.37. And a DNF for the Can Man with a one minute penalty. No worry, just uh, we're gonna be altering the times there, so not to worry. So I believe, Gavin, for a DNF, that is a two minute. Yep, uh, uh, time. two minute, and uh, from the fastest uh, driver of your batch, so he will be serving a nine minute uh, thirty nine point one six seven for that one. Then the usual uh, game penalty still have, so that's going to be a bit of manual timing from uh, our end. But uh, yeah, definitely it puts him on the back foot uh, with a two-minute uh, disadvantage right away. Right. Not, not to mention, is he bringing two spare tires? Because uh, if he's not bringing two spare tires, then uh, it's going to be a struggle for him on this second stage as well, despite he's, it being a short, a short stage. He's going to have to crawl this if ever it's going to happen. Luckily... Um, Everybody we've seen who've uh, had uh, those punctures in the first stage did have extra tires with them. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's the first stage again of the Monte Carlo fighting uh, these drivers of ours. Uh, uh, word of advice to the cameraman. All right, now they're pointing correctly. <laughs> All right, All right so here we go. It's Joy Gutierrez. Oh, the triple screen setup of Joey Gutierrez is something, another another thing that would be so awesome also <laughs> to have it in my own personal rig. But uh, he's using it to his advantage with the peripheral vision. But I'm sure that's a very heavy load on the on the computer requirements, right, here. Uh, de depending on the load, uh, well, depending on the hardware, really. As long as the PC can handle it, you can do it. So, actually, it's not just on the PC load. It's actually also on the power. It's powering uh, three separate... Uh, actually, that's four screens, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, uh, you're talking about the power supply or just uh, The power consumption, energy. actually. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, the Philippines has one of the most expensive power rates in the in the world. So, 
<laughs> that's something really of something of consideration. Uh, I need to know what now. The Nino Arakawa is uh, at second, and uh, yep, these two are taking the fight to each other. They know it's uh, up for grabs in the first takes, and um, it's yeah, a great These guys opening. are at it again, you know, ever since the first uh, round, we haven't, they've been battling it out, always. <laughs> it just so happens that they share the same first batch in the, the mm -hmm. first three rounds, so... Uh, the battle is really between these two. What a nice hand trick. Uh, what a nice hair pitter, rather. Alright. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, nice turn, uh, nice recovery there from the exit. Yeah, that was a good uh, series of turns. Alright, taking it slow and steady there. Nicely done there by Nino Arakawa. He's not letting the car understeer at all. He's just making it... Uh, he's just releasing it. Then once it gets straight uh, after the understeer is done, he just gasses it and powers it out. Nice candy flick there by Nino oh, Arakawa. That was excellent. That Nicely was excellent. done even, there. Even riding the back uh, the exit uh, before that hairpin. Yeah. Uh, my, this guy's Mr. Spectacular in this match, huh? Definitely. Oh, no, 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 I'm denied. Even more so with Takashi Fujiwara right here. <laughs> Ashi's not doing uh, not doing bad with the uh, with the controller. Um, he's actually keeping same uh, momentum up. The speeds there, slipping and sliding just a bit more uh, than the cleaner lines of uh, Nino Arakawa. But uh, yeah, uh, you can see that even if he took a wider wider turn around the hairpin over there, he still got the power and the the speed up. All right. Uh, these four wheel drive cars oh, are some. Whoa! Mm -hmm. no, nice, nice recovery. <laughs> Almost overshot it, but he was able to recover it. <laughs> Quite spectacular the exit of that hairpin. And this is actually Good remarkable. Here. This is actually your poster car, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> This was the poster car of this, uh, the championship for the National Digital Rally Championship. All right. By the way, shout out to you, Takashi Fujiwara. You you chose the poster car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they take a gander at that car right there. Look at that. There's always something with a Citroen that makes it feel like it's really for rent, don't you think? Yeah, well, definitely. They're one of the most successful uh, manufacturers out there. Um, and uh, you have to remember that it was almost, if not a decade, uh, winning uh, the WRC. It, it really remains in your head that uh, they were champions. And in their rally. Yep. Knew it, Paul. Zoom room. Overla overlay. Wow, Dyer Brady now with the Peugeot. Really, the thing about the French car uh, manufacturers, like, they really have an active presence in motorsport. Uh, you have Peugeot, you have Citroën in Rally, and then you have Renault in Formula 1. Or, well, sorry, now they're Alpine, but... Uh... No! Alright. Across the line, Daryl Brady taking the stop box with him. Alright. Now for Bernie yeah, Ronquillo. Yeah. Alright, clipping the inside. And flat out towards the finish line. Now for the can man. Seems like Rafael Leo spin has adjusted to steering wheel now. Very much so. Gavin? Yeah, we'll have... Alright, we have uh, Nino Arakawa at 5.07 and just a bit three tenths of a second uh, behind him is Joey Gutierrez. Again, 
both of them going neck to neck. And this is why this is the reason why these guys are stuck at third place. Look at how close their fight is. That uh, is so Fujiwara, close. Um, in the uh, with the controller at the five oh nine. Told you the controller is gonna work. <laughs> Shinji Izak, five seventeen. Uh, fourth place at this uh, PC batch two. They're already um with a five eighteen, five thirty two for Bernie Ronquillo. has been taking a conservative uh, approach for this one, and the can man uh still adjusting to that steering with the five fifty one. He's got to start somewhere, and uh, I guess uh he he likes the challenge here in the Monte Carlo. Why not? Okay. All right, here they go. So after the two special stages, they're going to be coming to their first service park. So let's see. So pretty much all the drivers uh, have challenges, especially when it comes to the corner exits, especially for especially for the hairpin exits, don't you think, Gavin? Uh, the, yeah, the, either the so. fender um, gets hit or the tire or uh... that's right uh trying to keep that uh, momentum going around the hairpin while uh trying not to outbreak themselves uh, especially in the downhill uh it's something always quite challenging uh usually on the uphill you're gonna also have some challenges um trying to keep the keep the power up uh in coming Sometimes you're thinking, if, do I have to brake more or not because it's going uphill? So how much do I have to brake and apply the brake? So sometimes they brake uh, a bit too early uh, for that one. Um, so it really depends. Uh, with, it's, and it's difficult with this uh, uphill and the downhill hairpins in the Monte Carlo. Plus, again, uh, the slippery surface. So, yeah. Uh, and so difficult again to reiterate to everybody this Monte Carlo stage is so difficult. I can't believe that they race here in real life. Uh, it's like Monaco. <laughs> it's all so tight. It's all, it's all so difficult. This Actually, one alone. Yeah, yeah, you'd be surprised, uh, Jahan, uh, when you look at the stage times. So usually the WRC will only show you the those who, uh, who are competing for the WRC uh, and those who are classified. But if you look at the stage times of the Monte Carlo um, within um, everybody, I mean also those who are not homologate, uh, not classified for the WRC points, um, so you'll see the raw spec sheet of uh, all the entries, you'll find um, that, that the results are all top security and a lot of these, uh, especially the French, um, are very, very quick in this Monte Carlo um, rally. So. Example, there is um, Brian Bouffier, um, an ERC driver who's uh, who's challenged uh, all the WRC drivers because of his knowledge. Um, example also was uh, Sebastian uh, Loeb when he first won with the C4. Oh no, that was Sarah, Citroen Sarah. Um, you know, uh, because of the knowledge of the, these uh, of, of them in the Monte Carlo, just they were just uh, they're quick, you know, um, and they could beat out uh, even the best drivers. Uh, um, because it was their, their backyard, or rather, their, their mountain roads. Alright, stage 3. This is the stage that is dry in the first part and really grippy. So, flat out all the way for these guys on the first uh, half of this stage. Even more so for Joey Gutierrez, and now he starts SS3. That's a rigorous start for... Wow. But it's for them, for the, the battle of third place in the championship is really uh, something now for um, JP Gutierrez and uh, uh, Mayo Soltis uh, in Arakawa. So, you know, um, right now they're neck and neck, and uh, uh, well, they have to break the tiebreaker, so this is their opportunity. <laughs> That's all right, they are going head on. The oh. ah, it's okay, it's okay, bit of understeer, but he still made the corner. All right, by the way, one crowd favorite right now is Shinji Iza. Again, the, the newly repaired 
Yeah, God, there he is. <laughs> God, oh, nice. Wow, nice. Too many drivers uh, saying hi to the camera, don't we? A lot of them are uh, all in their game faces. And I believe Shinji Izak is also using a Sim Magic direct drive wheel, I believe. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, wow, I mean, for for, for us uh, in the third world country that is Philippines, you know, that those are very expensive stuff, you know. Right, but, uh, but for countries with higher GDP, uh, I guess it's more of uh, attainable, this Sim Magic stuff. Or it really represents how serious one is in, in this uh, sim racing uh, 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 hobby. That's so, right. I mean, a direct uh, drive wheel is already an investment in itself. Don't stick there, Grajan. It's like a brand yeah. new motorcycle in, 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 in our country. <laughs> yeah, you know, 50,000, I could buy, I could buy, I, I could buy a cheap uh, second-hand car for that price uh, of that Sim Magic uh, setup, you know. So, uh, yeah. Lord. But, uh, yeah, but of course, if you're using it to train, or you're using it to learn how to drive a car, nothing like it, you know, if you can add more realism uh, to your uh, sim racing experience, uh, then not bad. Hats off to you, you know. That's right. Up next, Takashi Fujiwara. Going all out there. Whoa. Bad there, dude. That's pretty good. <laughs> that was good. Did you learn that uh, on the roads of Mount Haruna? <laughs> uh, <laughs> at Akashi, I mean. <laughs> oh, man. No, I, think I don't is, uh... think so. But he, he tried. Still, still, still though, he, he got it. Oh! I think that, that was so close. God. John, I think he learned it in the roads going up to the thing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Joey Michelis across the line, followed closely by Nino Arakawa and Takashi Fujiwara and Daryl Brady. All right. Not bad, Daryl Brady third. All right, oh. number can man finishing P5. Now with Bernie Ronquillo. Across the line as well. All right. Joey Gutierrez at 330.49. Nino Arakawa at 332.88. Uh, Takashi Fujiwara at 334.95. Daryl Brady at 340.82 with a five second penalty. Rafael Lee at four, uh, at, sorry, 342.50. Shinji Isaac at 343.21. And Bernie Ronquillo at 352.50. All right. All right. Split times, stage notes. Joy Gutierrez and Bernie Ronquillo. Uh, both hold my beer, guys. Have no damage. Truly, someone is holding their beer tight. So, no crashes. <laughs> so, they can have more beer afterwards. And here is this event uh, time so far. Nino Arakawa is leading. As we can see it in the initial times. Uh, five seconds only is the gap, huh? So... Uh, the that can still, that can still either increase, decrease. We never, we could, we never know. Anything can happen, guys. Wow. Uh, on another downhill section, though, it, it could change. It's a make or break for these guys. And maybe, just maybe, good John, uh, we won't recreate the same mistakes like what happened last night with Nino Arakawa in the qualifying. I don't uh, think that's, I don't think that's gonna happen again. Let's not jinx him, but uh, uh, we won't. We won't. Yeah, I mean, you know, he was just a bit pressured, maybe, but uh, he shouldn't have been. Actually, he should not have been pressured because it was a sure qualifying, you know. It was just a matter of force, you know, that he just a matter of uh, um, what you call procedure that he just qualifies with any time, to be honest. That's right. But uh, I guess he was taking it a bit too seriously, but. Uh, but now, the pressure is on for Nino Arakawa. You can think of it um, with uh, Nino Arakawa, something like uh, what happened to Pierre in Newville back in uh, 2015 in the WRC, in the, with Hyundai's first uh, win in the WRC in Germany. So Thierry Neuville uh, practically destroyed his car in shakedown, um, but uh, went off to win the rally. So 
let's see if uh, Nino or Akao can pull that off and um, at the moment it seems like, it seems like it uh, with his goal in mind for this uh, Monte Carlo run. Alright, now with Joy Gutierrez starting off the first sector for this stage. A oh, little bit of clip there on the on the corner exit. I think the snowbanks here are a bit soft, you know. So for but, this sector, but yes, they are. However, beyond those snowbanks, there's of course hard concrete blocks uh, preventing you to fall off the cliff. But uh, regardless, you know there is a bit of give uh, with these uh, snowbanks. But wow, Joey Gutierrez is driving that very very well. It really reminds me of, of driving, uh, driving in Monaco in a, a Monte Carlo on a previous uh, uh, race event you had here. Uh, I don't know if you remember that one. Which, which one um, is this? Uh, the, one, the ROC one. All oh, right, right. Yes, yes. Uh, that, that was good, you know. That, 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 uh, that was very memorable. Right yeah. Up next, right, it's right. a dice for P1 right now with Nino Arakawa. The the tower is just showing how it's crazy. supposed to be done. Yep, and uh, they are fighting for that uh, P3 really seriously. They are neck to neck, and uh, it's actually great to see the Arakawa without his uh, mask nowadays. Uh, from the uh, probably, I think it's the first time for him to actually show his face. Uh, actually, on he's camera. still wearing a mask, but it's just in gray. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. right, right. He, he will forever be the ever mysterious uh, that name is Arakawa. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Alright, Bertamash Fujiwara. Alright, so... Uh, it's a fast Amir Komen, entry there. Amir Komen, who was a uh, qualifier here, uh, is shouting out to uh, uh, Takafuji as his middle name is named Toge. Takahashi, Takahashi Toge Fujiwara. <laughs> There oh, you go. Oh, whoa. Oh, what a nice. You know, it's a mistake. He used it to his advantage by clipping oh, the ball. Oh, nice. All right. Never, so, never mind guys, the sign got hit, but he pulled that off. The poll now here is which Malaysian here in this match is more of a show of uh, is it Takahashi, Takahashi Fujiwara uh, with all the slides and, uh, with the controller or is it uh, King G. Isaac with all the. Uh, Highs and hellos in the zoom camera. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Up um, next for P4, Daryl Brady. See how we go. Daryl Brady not doing uh, bad here in this rally. He's actually got P3 uh, a while ago in that uh, third stage, and uh, now he's still up there in fourth. Oh, okay. No, no, no. He, he, he got it. He's got it. Uh, but he's really taking it very seriously. Wow! Oh, scraping the rear fender, but he's all right. Uh, it's uh, I don't know which is more difficult, but actually, circuit driving gives me ulcers. <laughs> this one's what? actually more fun to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So, so I'm sure he's getting ulcers right now with with the uh, new experience. All right, using the engine brake there, not locking the tires. All right, far so good. Up next, Bernie Ronquillo. Again, Bernie Ronquillo is continuing his uh, measured pace. Okay, minor mistakes, minor taps on the wall here and there, but uh, again, slowly but surely, he's just enjoying his uh, experience now. And if I had a screen like that in my living room, I would be also enjoying the experience driving with that ultra, 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 ultra wide uh, monitor. I think uh, I'm not sure if they share the same uh, screen with uh, Anthony Munoz, but uh, they're just wide, dude. It's so huge. Depth perception won't be a problem. Measuring distance as well. Uh, I I did check that. That was uh, I think uh, in local market. That's I think about a thousand US, right? About fifty thousand bucks for for a monitor like that. Lord. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, things are not cheap. Forty <laughs> <laughs> here. Forty k. Oh. oh no! That's an unfortunate event for Shinji. He's up there. Mm. 
Nursing oh. a flat front left tire. Oh, dear. oh that, that's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> I, he should have enough tires though. They, maybe I it's believe he chose not to change it because he was actually clear of the third sector when he got the flat, so not worth changing a tire, I suppose. Uh, I don't know. For me, I, I'll take the minute hit because you know I want to enjoy the experience. <laughs> you know, and getting a flat is not very fun. Uh, ah, that's yes. Why that's why you call AAP when you need ro emergency roadside assistance when you get the flat. <laughs> All right. All right. Now for Rafael Lee. By the way, in the DMR stream, the crowd is going crazy for this gentleman right here. The can man is going to be another uh, another uh, record to break with a wheel. Nino Rakawa at 5.01. All right, J uh, Joey Gutierrez at 5.02, Takashi Fujiwara at 5.05.31, Daryl Brady at 5.12.61, Bernie Ronquillo at 5.23.94, Shinji Izak at 5.45.83, and uh, Rafael Lee at 6.02.78 with a 5-second penalty. All right, stage notes. Okay, okay, looks like everyone is damaged here. No one is spared. And here are the event times so far, and that is oh wow! I think it increased by three seconds, Kujan. The gap. Uh, well, it increased. Is this? Uh, yeah, this is the last stage. Uh, Nino Arakawa, I'm praying for you. Please get, <laughs> don't fall off don't. this time. <laughs> I hope you're not hearing us right now, um, live. You know, uh, maybe hear this later. But you know, we're rooting for. We're rooting for you to not fall off at least, but... Uh... <laughs> Speaking of drivers falling off on a championship uh, level rally, um, I remember back in 2020 when Elfin Evans and Sebastian Ulger were competing in Monza in the snowy mountain road and uh, they were competing for the championship and Elfin uh, was leading the championship uh, but he uh, actually fell off the cliff and uh, handed pretty much over the championship to Sebastian Ocher, so uh, anything can happen on a snowy mountain road uh, and it's happened uh, last year uh, so but yeah of course you don't want that to happen somebody might get hurt with uh, falling off the cliff no worry in sim racing no one's gonna <laughs> die here tonight okay no one's exactly. gonna die okay <laughs> we're all at the comfort of our own homes so uh... exactly. <laughs> uh, oh, great. Yeah. that's great <laughs> we'll, we'll probably just see a few tears fall oh, you know no. Oh yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that, that would be sad, but uh, yeah, but that's racing, that's life, and uh, yeah, this is reality TV or reality streaming at its finest, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. All right. Uh, this is again the stage going up Route de Torini, so it starts from the bottom. Uh, we from the bottom, it goes to the, I assume, the town of Torini. Yep, and uh, 8 seconds is a gap that can truly uh, be overtaken in this uh, long stage of ours. So, let's see how that's going to go. Just, and also, one tip for the drivers, guys, don't get mad at the car is parked on the side. Okay? Just don't look at They're, che <laughs> they're cheering on for you. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to get out. They don't want to get out of the car. Yeah, because actually, they look like, well, they look like illegally parked cars, but, you know, who knows? Maybe they were based on the render that, you know, there are actually residents there that just really happens to park the car there. It's alright. Uh, maybe they're Filipinos, you know, they're being pasaway, who knows? Oh, you no. Know, but, uh... A hazard button to park anywhere, but no, 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 no not, not these nah. guys. <laughs> nah. Alright. Uh, back to the... Back to the starting line, start of SS5, this is Joey Gutierrez. Right, Joey G Gutierrez was uh, fastest here in qualifying for the PC Patch 2, but uh, definitely uh, he's found his challenge. Um, just when he, he can't write off uh, Nino Arakawa, who was third last year in the Digital Rally Trophy. Uh, last season the digital rally trophy and uh, there you go uh, it's gonna be a fast uh, first section for this uh, long stage of ours right all right 
Oh awesome. man, he's going blast fast now, huh? It's a yep. rigorous start, really. But, uh, he's got to climb up the, the, that ladder because uh, it seems that uh, he did not have the best of takeoffs or, uh, uh, or best of uh, first series of sections over there because uh, definitely, be. um, yep. All the possible. He's climbing up that ladder slowly. In the tunnel through a zigzag, all right, passing the first sector. And now right, on to the first place, they look at Nero Arakawa. On first. Right, they are in the same hairpin. You can see that um, it seems that the Joey had a faster um, uh, entry there. And uh, probably an exit. It seems yeah. that uh, Nero Arakawa just bogged down in that hairpin a while ago. And, uh, there you go, look at that ticker. Uh, the ticker is down, going crazy between these two guys. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting uh, a lot of tension of watching the two of them battle it out for third in our championship. Huh? It's neck That's and right. neck right now. I yep. hope the progress bar and the ticker is off for these guys. Cause, man, just, just looking at it as a driver or as a spectator, man, it's making me sweat right now. <laughs> You shouldn't be sweating, it's snowy, right? Yes, <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> Alright, now for P3, take the gander on Takashi Fujiwara. Alright, uh, let's wait and see what the uh, sideways thing that uh, Taka will, will be doing over here. Because uh, he's keeping those lines very easy. There you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, nicely done there. So now I now I see why your nickname is Toge. Okay, I, I we get it, we get it now. All right, another one. Man. Nicely done there. Oh man. We, we may be witnessing a display of lines here by by Takashi right now, don't you think, guys? It's pretty amazing actually he's driving. It's uh, very different uh, from what we have uh, trying to do with him. It's uh, suddenly, it's alright. Suddenly it's refreshing to see somebody doing all these headways things, uh, driving uh, and rallying because uh, definitely uh, ever since Sebastian Loeb started uh, showing all these clean lines, everybody's followed that. Uh, but here we go again to the sideways and it's nice to watch it's, that's what's rallying up next daryl brady turning behind takashi Fujiwara. daryl wasn't doing too bad in the stage uh in the, in the groupier part he was up in p2 already showing that uh definitely if there's good he can he can take uh he can take the position but uh again we're in the section where it's really slippery and uh he's struggling a bit over here but uh he just needs to maintain his pace, uh, he'll do fine. Alright, there they go. Oh, okay. Uh, not, not bad, bad not bad. bad. He's actually very fast on that hairpin. Uh, but, uh... You can really tell where to, go, where to do a semi-cut, so he can, he can have a nice exit. He knows. I like, like, a little That's bump the down there. That's to be expected from Dyer Brady, you know, he's actually a very, very high-level driver, you know, for, for, for us, right? So, right. in GT Sport, in a set of course, uh, uh, any circuit racing, race room, I think, yeah, even race room, you know, so every any race that he does is circuit mostly, that's what we know him for. So, rally is a new challenge, but uh, I'm, I hope that he'll continue to rally with us. Uh, I hope so, too. Yeah. As and, long as uh, uh, no league of his uh, uh, conflicts with our schedule. Because he's yeah, actually a organizer as well. Uh, with, uh, yeah, of course. I've joined uh, a couple of his uh, events. Uh, their events, I mean, rather. So, uh, so I... Uh, that's oh! also true. Mm. Kind of jinx it right there. You turn. Ah. Okay. Okay, okay. Up next, Bernie Ronquillo. Again, the measured pace from Bernie Ronquillo is, you know, he could have, he could drive a bit faster, but uh, he's keeping the car very clean. So, again, the adage still applies: before you finish first, first you must finish. So he's doing that very well. He's 
just driving fast enough to finish without any mishap uh, and not having any additional risk. Um, so he's doing uh, a mature drive. It is, it is pretty nice uh, how he's driving it. Uh, he's keeping the car still all intact. Um, definitely wants to have a good drive and uh, a good time doing this. We have to remember that Bernie wasn't really supposed to be qualified um, here. Um, there were a lot of drivers who backed up last minute because of all the uh, typhoons and the mishaps that have happened uh, over in here in, uh, locally and uh, also in Malaysia. So um, I don't think he was expecting to be driving here and that's why his pace is uh, not as quick as before. But uh, he's doing a very good job. And the can man. Uh, for First time man. in the steering wheel and uh, he's learning. Uh, it's gonna take some time for him uh, to, to get that learning curve up again. So, but uh, definitely it's, uh, it's going up, it's progressing. Uh, he had really bad stage in the first stage, uh, but this is what this is this is a lot better now, and uh, he just needs to keep on adding those uh, mileage, the, that experience, uh, so that he gets enough. Uh, enough uh, confidence with uh, how he's going to use that steering wheel. That's right. Mm -hmm. By the way, in due time, you get used to it. Oh, wait, sorry, you, you were saying? Yep, by the way, um, Mr. Albert Narciso, our uh, driver, uh, our national champion driver, uh, co-driver, and uh, uh, regular competitor here, who is uh, the eldest also of our competitors, is uh, Says congratulations to says hi uh, on the fa Facebook live uh, feed. So, Shout all the way from you. the scene, he Shout wasn't able to join the team. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, same believe, with uh, is Mark he, is Lawrence, he in the Bernardo States right now. Their, yep, same oh. with Mark Lawrence, Bernardo, they didn't bring their rings. <laughs> oh no. It's alright, I mean, they all, we could all use a vacation. And join the chariots across the line. Oh, the Joy Gutierrez couldn't get enough gap for uh, from the Arakawa to extend the lead. I think that was just a split second gap. About two seconds, I think. One, one and, and a half to two seconds. Now yeah. uh, for Shinji uh, Isak, though. But uh, if, um, if there's penalties in this stage that we don't know about, we'll find out also. And there we go. A sideways the finish. Okay, now it's Dario Grady also about, about to cross the line. Maybe he'll say his famous quote, Buhay pa naman ako. That's right. There you have it, come on. Take a gander on the can, man. Uh, look at that. Game face on. Alright. There you have it. Joy Gutierrez at 742.34, Dino Arakawa at 745.61, Takashi Fujiwara at 749.04, Shinji Izak at 808.98, Bernie Ronquillo at 816.64, Daryl Brady at 830.82, and Rafael Lee at 847.93 with a 5 Wins. second penalty. Alright, All right. Event, event results? All event right. results here we are wow wow it went down yep from from like uh, from like six seconds or like eight it, it became three but yeah i guess it's a congratulations to nino arakawa for defending that uh third uh place overall um and there and you have it the nino arakawa for this. Congratulations also to Joey Gutierrez in this one and for Takafuji with the controller for getting uh, third place in this batch. Uh, but uh, definitely, um, you know, uh, if there's anything that uh, we have to commend here, it's going to be, um, first of all, uh, I think it's going to be all those uh, guests of ours uh, from Malaysia and Singapore and New Zealand who come here to try uh, our, our digital rally. Uh, lobby racing and uh, thank you very much for uh, being here and uh, having a great time with us um, in our digital rally uh, championship and 